Hey, what's going on? Uh, interesting topic here. I wanna I wanna discuss briefly with you guys. And um, before we get into it, I just wanna kind of give a little background on how this video idea came about. I was upgrading my RAM. Uh, I had two sticks, of course, uh, 16 gig to eight. Um, they were at 3200 megahertz, and I upgraded and bought two sticks of 16, but newer versions of them that were running at 3600 megahertz. I wanted to use all four and I was a bit concerned if I was going to be able to XMP them. Um, I managed to do it, I had to tweak some stuff, change the timings and stuff, but I, I managed to use all four sticks. I know, I know what you're probably saying, oh, you don't you, why are you, why are you mix matching your sticks, you got them in different frequencies, you know, you got two eight and then two six. Hey, you do you, I do me. I got it to work, works fine for me, I got no issues with it, so anyway, besides the point, off topic. Um, with discussing this topic with a few people I know, I um, realized a fair few people I know didn't have the RAM XMP'd, which was a huge surprise to me. So I, you know, I helped explain to them what it was doing, what it will do, and how to enable it, right? Essentially, I, it got me thinking, how many people out there don't have their RAM XMP'd that they've bought a stock PC or they've bought like a custom build one online, it's arrived, you know, they've changed some things and go, yeah, cool, it's all working fine. How many people actually don't know that the RAM isn't running at the speed it's intended to be running at? Now, with all that said, let's get into it. Okay, so now we're on the computer. We're going to use two applications. We're going to use Task Manager and we're also going to use a software called CPUZ. Link to that will be down below. Before we continue, I would recommend you go and find out what speed your RAM is supposed to run at. So for instance, this RAM is supposed to run at 3200 megahertz. Now you know at what speed your RAM is supposed to run at. We're going to go on CPUZ to find out our XMP profile speed and also to see, most importantly, if your RAM supports XMP. So on CPU Z, we're going to go on SPD. Here's your RAM, you get your different RAM slots. As you can see here at the bottom, these are JDEX and XMP profiles. So my XMP profile is 1800 megahertz and my JDEX is 1333. So if you've got this XMP column, then you know your RAM supports XMP. Now that we know at what speed our RAM is supposed to run at XMP compared to the JDEX, we're going to go over to Task Manager now to find out if my RAM is XMP or not. How to do this, on Task Manager, click on More Details, go to Performance, and then click on your memory. Now, you're either going to see this in one or two ways to show it's enabled. You're either going to see, if my speed here says 1800 megahertz, then that would be working. Or, it will show you it in 3600. And you might think, well, why? It's because when you have your two sticks of RAM and it runs in dual channel, it's because it does a thing called double data speed. So this is the actual speed your RAM will be running at. Even if it says 18 there, you know that the 1800 is your XMP profile. Now, if the speed here was to be any less than 1800 or 3600, then I would know my RAM is not XMP'd. For instance, if my speed here was shown 1333, then I know my RAM would be running at the JDEX profile. Or if my speed was showing this number, which would be the JDEX, but doubled because it's in double data, then I would also know I'm running at the JDEX profile, not the XMP. I want to suggest one thing. This is completely optional. You don't have to do this. This website, I will leave a link to it down below. What I would recommend you do, download this and run the benchmark. No benchmark your computer. I'm just going to click on someone's here. So what I'm recommending is run this program, download it, get your benchmark results, save the tab, then enable XMP, do it again. So you yourself can see how much difference you're getting using XMP. I'm going to run down this now to show you something. I'm going to skip over a lot of it and just go through it quite quickly. You'll see here you've got percentage of your gaming, desktop and workstation. It gets rated. All the stats is here, green status. You know, some of it might be red or orange for you. And I'll give you a little description of maybe what you can do to help improve performance. This is the other thing I want to go over is percentile. Now it says perform above expectation, 79 percentile. Okay, so say, so say you load it up and it says your CPU is 10th percentile. What that means, out of 100 people, 90 of them are running it better than you. Wrong. Sorry about that. I actually got that wrong there. Um, it's not out of 100 people. It's out of percentage. So if you are running, if you've got 95 percentile, that means only 5% of people with that component are running it better than you. And it means everyone else below it is running it worse. So it's not out of 100 people. It is a percentage of all the people with that component that have run the benchmark on the website. So just keep an eye on all your information here. And you could jot it down, write it down, or you can leave the tab open and scroll down as well. 
you'll see your RAM. It'll tell you your latency, your single core, write speed, multi-core. And this is all good information. Now that said, where do you an XMP RAM? Well, not a motherboard support it, unfortunately. Um, if you've got a modern board, I'd say over the last few years, or it's up to date and you, you've updated your BIOS, then you're more than likely are going to have the XMP settings in it. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you because I don't have a capture card. But what I have done, I've got some photos and I, I get some more photos on Google to show you. I think this is in a way better because I, if I showed you where my XMP setting is and profile, in BIOS, you'd go, oh, where's that? Mine doesn't look like that. And you're right. All BIOSes look different, made by different manufacturers, and they're all they're just they're all different. Okay, so I could say, oh, you click here, you go to that, enable it, and you could spend the next two hours trying to find it and never find it because it's somewhere completely different. So let's go through some photos so you have an idea of what you're looking for once you get in your BIOS. First photo here, you can see in the BIOS he's in easy mode. He's not he's not advanced, and it's right there. XMP profile one, profile two. Next up, we got this one. Uh, he's in easy mode again and right there XMP profile profile 5 next one. This one's a bit small You can't it'd be hard for you to see but XMP profile right there there XMP Extreme memory profile there enabled here. You are another one XMP profile one again here XMP profile one boom. Here's another one So as you might have seen there, the settings are sometimes in different locations are named different. Your XMP it might be called Extreme Memory Profile, or there was you have somewhere it's A hyphen XMP, um, or it might be under your DRAM settings. It it could just be on the home screen of your BIOS in easy mode. You might have to go into advanced mode to try and find it. But you know what you're looking for now. You you're looking for something XMP, right? Enable it. It might be it might be auto. It might be disable on. It might just be profile one two it's going to be different per motherboard okay so there you go hope anyone out there that wasn't using the ram at the correct speed you're now running at the correct speed and, and you're noticing the differences if you're not sure what your ram's supposed to be running at you could check the manufacturer the receipt where you, where you bought it from and you can go to systemation find the model of your ram bro and google see the speed it's supposed to be running at if, you, if you're not sure and for that said hope you enjoyed the video Hope you found it useful. Till next time. Peace.